All right, hi everybody. It's Bonkai922. High School DXD Season 2 New. Well, actually, it's called High School DXD New. Um, this episode... Um... Was called, as far as I know, I'm going to destroy the Holy Sword. Um, this one, I, this was interesting. Yeah, I'll, I'll destroy the Holy Swords. Um, this one, I didn't like the first half. That was bullshit. Like, for, for real. But, after it, pretty good. Pretty good. The reason I don't like the first half is because Issei and Kiba lose. You know, these bitches... You know, Zeno, Zena, uh, Zeno, and, uh, Irena. They, they lose to them. I'm like, fuck you. Um, yeah, and that pissed me off. I was like, goddamn, fucking bitches. Um, um, so, but, it was still a good episode. Yeah, especially the end. Whoa! Whoa, the end. Now, let's get into the summary. So, basically, I don't want to go too much details with the, the fight. You know, he was fighting Irena, and... You know, I don't like it, man. Irena, fuck you. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck you, Irena. Yeah, both of them. Because they basically beat the hell out of uh, Issei and... Kiba, that was bullshit. That was bullshit. And then even though she's leaving, she's like, come to me, you say, if you want to be just. I'm like, fuck you. But you know what? It doesn't matter. Because later on, uh, there's the... <laughs> I'll get into that part. But after the fight's over, and it was, it was nothing to specify with that fight. It was, this was, this is early on in the show. And I can already tell you, right now, this season is nothing like last season. That is that is going to ring true throughout this season, of season two. It is nothing like last season. Last season was more about Issei getting into becoming a demon and all these other things they need to go through. This season is more like there's a purpose. There's a purpose, there's a plot, there's something going on. That's what this season's about. So after the match they have, um, she explains to Grimmery, um, Z Z Zeno, Zeno, Zena, Zeno, Zena, Zeno, that Zeno explains to Grimmery that apparently the group that is stealing them is a specific group and um he and, I, and and then and then um he was just just saying specifically who he encountered which was freed the guy that he say knows from before the one he was trying to you know. and basically he's the one who has it and then he's also explaining something else. Uh, another person who they say is evil now. Of course, his name eludes me at the moment. Um, and that's basically what they were saying. And then they left. Very, very listen, condescending. That's all I have to say. Condescending. But, hey. You know, very condescending. But, guess what? Issei and Kiba get they get the last laugh. Well, Issei gets the last laugh because uh, later on they're in the street doing like this for food, and they get. <laughs> hey, I'll get into that. I'll get into that. So after that scene, Kiba is very distraught. I mean, Issei was de it wasn't really as much as destroyed as Kiba. This season is going to be about Kiba, and we actually get a full like um kind of a flashback in this as well. Later on, I believe. Yeah, yeah, in the episode we got it later on. 
And basically, he leaves after they come back and saying that he can't, he can't listen to Grimmery, president. He can't, he just can't. He can't. He, he, he just, he is too fixated on his revenge uh, on the Holy Swords that he just can't listen to her. And he leaves. And then Issei sees this, and he, he feels that, Issei feels he wants to do something about this. So, he encounters at school one of the members of the student council. The guy who's serving that other one, who's the president of the student council. One of the members of the student council. And decides to try to convor convorce him, convorce him into helping him finding, you know, the location of the Holy Swords and, and, and helping destroy them. Because he's worried... He says he's actually worried about Kiba. He doesn't want him to, you know, and so on and so forth. And that's when him, Issei, and Konako, I believe, they um, decide to go and search for... Um, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, to search for um, Irena and Zeno. And Xenovia. And apparently, they find them. And this is what they're doing. They're, they're begging for food. And then you know what Issei does? He takes them to a restaurant and, and buys them food. That's called payback, bitches. Hey, you beat them in a fight, but guess what? Payback's a bitch. That's the way I see it. That's the way I see it. That was, that was kind of funny. It was like, it was, they, like they, they, they groveling for food. And they get some food. And now they're saying, oh, I've seen... <laughs> she was thanking Issei. It was just so ridiculous. And then Issei decides, he's telling them the story about that they need to team up and to destroy these um, holy swords and so on and so forth. And Zeno agrees to this and they encounter, you know, Kiba and then he decides to tell them the whole story. And this is when Zeno and he went... I get a better understanding of their character now. They understand. I, the beginning part, I was pissed off at them, but them def that pissed me off a little bit. But this part, I actually liked. Because now they understand, they understand Kiba's situation, they understand what happened to him, and so on and so forth. And saying that, oh, those people that were involved in this project were, were executed, were not ex they were, were exiled, and so on and so forth. And we get a flashback of what happened to Kiba. It was pretty grim. This this season is is no joke. Like for real, it, it, totally different from season one. And basically, what happens is we see you know the the peop, the kids who were in the, the holy in the, the 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 experiments, and they couldn't handle using the. Excalibur, the Holy Swords. So, the people in charge of the uh, the experiment decided to get rid of them, to dispose of them. And that's when we see Kiba leaving that facility. These kids helped him, and they obviously died. And he bumps into Grimory. And that's basically what happens. And basically now, what it seems from this situation is, this is going to be an alliance. Issei, Konko, and, 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 and Kiba are going to join forces with uh, Irena and Zeno to track down the Holy Swords and destroy them. And we then get a scene also with um, Grimory and the president of the Student Council saying that there's a situation, there's a problem. We don't know what the problem is, though. And we see Issei saying goodbye to... Well, um, kind of canceling his meeting with his supporter. You know, his um, summoner. And we see the guy. He's out there and he's fishing. And we see this figure. This person with the guy. And he's this guy with a black jacket and like white silvery hair. I was like, whoa, who's this? 
and that's where the episode ends. I was like, yo. I'm convinced. Now, tell me what you guys think about this, but I'm convinced. <laughs> that's the White Dragon. I'm convinced that is the White Dragon. Uh, not enough information to, to 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 confirm this, but we will see next week. We will see next week. But I am convinced that is the White Dragon, and that he's eventually going to fight Issei, uh, probably during this season. But like I said, I don't have enough information to confirm this. Not enough information. Not enough information. But, pretty interesting plot point. I mean, damn. Great episode. Give this a... F because of that, I want to give this a 5, but I want to stick with a 4. Because, remember, the first part pissed me off a little bit, but, hey, it was just... I don't know, it just pissed me off. But, um... But, yeah, um... This is going to be interesting because if Issei is going to fight this guy eventually, the guy we saw in the end, it's going to be some fight. Now, the intro kind of spoils a little bit. Everybody's seen that intro. You see, you know, things going to happen later on. But um, as of now, we don't know much. But I will say, this is going to be about the Holy Source, though, as we go along. But... The guy you saw at the end of the episode. I have a feeling he says he's going to fight him eventually. I'm convinced. Oh, also, yeah, we had the nudity scene. <laughs> With Primer Hands. The student council president. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. It was a good episode. The first part just pissed me off because of him being here saying, eh, you know, they beat him. So I was like, well, what the fuck, you know? It's like, come on. You know? I didn't like that. It's like, jump the fuck off, you know? Well, what makes you so hot, Irena? Huh? Who are you? But, uh, but it doesn't matter because, see, it was kind of weird how they did this episode. I actually liked it because it was like, first part you're like, oh, you hate these, these characters. But then you, you find out later on that, oh, they're actually forming an alliance. And they actually... They understand the situation with Kiva. So I actually like this episode because of that understanding. But we'll see how this goes. I mean, it seems like they're now headed to confront one of the fallen angels who has part of the Holy Sword, from what I understand. So yeah, should be interesting, should be interesting. But tell me what you guys think. Tell me what you guys think about my theory about that guy in the end. That that's the White Dragon. I have a feeling it is. Because, I mean, you know, I just have a feeling. I got a feeling it's the White Dragon. If it is, this season's going to be awesome. It's going to be really awesome. It really is. Um, next week, a mm, few things we see. I, I didn't really see the full title of what next week's episode is, so I can't t tell you much. But we'll see how this goes. Giving us four out of five. Very good episode. Tell me what you guys think. Bonkai922. We'll see you guys later. That guy in the end, man. Oh, that's the white dragon. Here it comes, man. The white dragon. The white dragon. This is going to be awesome. Anything tells of this season. It's that white dragon. He's going to make an appearance. And he's going to fight him. It's going to be one awesome 